Hi everyone, thanks for watching this presentation on distortion correction for in vivo MPRidge. We've seen that EPI distortion can be corrected with reversed phasing copolarity acquisitions and top up. Anatomical MRI can also have distortion, but now in the readout direction. And the amount of distortion depends on the local B0 field homogeneity and the readout gradient bandwidth per pixel. Multi echo scans have been shown to have approximately a threefold reduction distortion compared to single echo scans with lower bandwidth. In this study, we used interleaved readout polarity acquisitions to assess and correct distortion in MP rage. We compared single echo versus multi echo, 3T versus 7T, and B0 field map versus top up correction. If we look at the first echo of a normal multi-echo sequence and compare with a reverse polarity sequence, we see that the resulting images have opposite distortion in the readout direction. This was an ex vivo scan with 110 hertz per pixel bandwidth. So in a 550 hertz region of off resonance, we get a five pixel shift. On the left are the images before distortion correction and on the right after top up correction. So we can acquire one scan with the normal readout kernel and then a second scan with the reverse polarity readout kernel. We do this in two separate reverse readout scans. Here we acquire one scan with interleaved readout polarity and then we can accelerate that with parallel imaging. In general there will be some movement between two separate scans. We can see here that it's hard to visualize the distortion and between the two reverse polarity acquisitions because of the head movement. In the interleave scan, you can clearly see the distortion only without the movement confound. We acquired single echo and multi echo data at 3T and 7T, as well as B0 field maps, and then we applied distortion correction with FSL top up and fugue for the B0 field map correction. This is single echo data acquired at 3T, and we can see in the original opposite polarity images there's substantial distortion. We can correct that distortion with top up. B0 field map correction also helps, although there are some residual artifacts. We can zoom in on this region near the sinuses to show the distortion, the top up corrected images, and the residual artifacts in the B0 map correction. This is multi-echo data acquired at 3T and we see that in the original opposite polarity images there's less distortion now than there was in the single echo data. We can correct that distortion with top up and with B0 map correction. This is single echo data acquired at 7T and we see that there's substantial distortion in the original opposite polarity images. Top up can align those images quite successfully and there are some residual artifacts in the B0 map correction. This is multi-echo data acquired at 7T. We see again that the multi-echo acquisition reduces distortion compared to single echo. Top up can correct that distortion and that B0 map correction is slightly less successful. In multi-echo scans we have opposite distortion between the odd and the even echoes and also increasing T2 star decay in the later echoes, which is more apparent in the 70 images here. Usually we take the root mean square of these echoes and use that as the final image. And we see at 3T there's not much difference between the original and the distortion corrected RMS. At 70 similarly, although there is a small improvement in sharpness in the highly distorted regions. However, with single echo data, we can reduce the effects of distortion with this approach, both at 3T and at 7T. So we found that interleaved readout polarity removes the head movement confound in long anatomical scans to improve estimation and correction of distortion. In vivo MP rage with low bandwidth per pixel can have substantial distortion, both at 3T and 7T, and we can use interleave readout polarity and top up to correct this distortion. In vivo multi echo MP rage was found to be relatively insensitive to B0 distortion. Thanks to my co authors and these funding sources, and thanks for watching.